Well, Utah has one of the highest teacher to student ratios in the nation, and for years, educators have been warning about a teacher shortage. In this special report, ABC4's education correspondent Sarah Martin tells us how the state is getting creative to fill those positions. For most jobs, you need a degree in the field, but that's no longer true for K-12 educators. Do I have someone willing to come up and talk us through, Eleanor? Mrs. Filardi and her fourth grade class are working through some long division. It's her third year in the classroom and she's in the home stretch to get her teaching license. Exactly. It's nice because I've had an eclectic background of work experience and I found that I've been able to tie every bit of it into the classroom. Mrs. Villardi got her undergrad about 10 years ago, then began working and raising a family. It's so funny because if you would have asked me 10 years ago would I have taught, I would have said no. But I think after like raising my own kids and being in the classroom and helping and like just seeing like the impact that teachers make, when I really thought about the takeaway from teaching and the reward that you got, it was, it, it just settled nicely and I thought I'd give it a try. Prospective teachers here in Utah have access to two transition programs called the Academic Pathway to Teaching and the Alternative Route to Licensure. They allow people to take classes and fulfill licensing requirements while teaching. I couldn't take time off from work to do student teaching and this was like the perfect in between where I could get paid and not lose that time at work and be working towards my license. We're talking about competencies rather than seat time. Quite frankly, the traditional model of a bachelor's degree in education doesn't supply the volume of teachers that we need to keep up with the state population and you know retirement and all, all of those aspects of human capital management. Before stepping foot in a classroom, these career changers pass the Praxis test, the same test someone with an undergrad in education would take. Then depending on their undergrad, they take coursework to fill the gaps in their education. What we're providing in the alternative program is the how you teach, the pedagogy of how you work with young adults and uh, children. All right. Let's do another one. Along with the program, they set you up with a mentor. So I feel like there's a lot of support through the district to make sure you're getting what you need. The numbers of people taking advantage of transition programs are growing steadily every year, which is exactly what we need. It's becoming a vital pipeline for teachers in the state. I have never been with a more supportive group of people in my classes pursuing the license. You have all these professionals that have worked these other jobs and are going into this profession because they want to make a difference in kids' lives. Beginning next school year, these two programs will essentially merge after years of troubleshooting and legislation. The hope with this new program is it allows for more, a more diverse way for teachers and districts to demonstrate competency to receive the standard license. Mrs. Velarde says the flexibility has been great, but it's not an easy path. If I were someone that was 23 or 24, this would be a really tough route, but for someone that has lived a little, bit of, a little bit of life and has perspective on life and has a little bit of grit to like get through those days, like it just, it, it has to be something that that passion does burn and you do find that joy and that intrinsic like value in your job. Awesome. Find out how to take advantage of these new programs on our website, abc4.com.